Who should be responsible for preserving historic buildings? Who should be responsible for preserving historic buildings? In my opinion, preserving historic buildings is a responsibility that should be shared among various entities. Of course, the government and local authorities have a crucial role to play in protecting these buildings, but I also believe that private organizations, charities, and even individuals should contribute to the cause. After all, historic buildings are not only a part of our shared cultural heritage but can also be valuable assets to communities, serving as tourist attractions, cultural hubs, or landmarks. Therefore, it is in everyone's interest to ensure that these buildings are well maintained and preserved for future generations. What are the differences between learning history from books and from videos? 2. What are the differences between learning history from books and from videos? Both books and videos can be effective ways to learn about history, but they have different advantages and drawbacks. Books provide a more in-depth and nuanced understanding of historical events, as they often contain more detailed information, analysis, and multiple perspectives. They also allow readers to engage with the material at their own pace, taking notes, rereading passages, and reflecting on the content. On the other hand, videos can be more engaging and accessible, as they can use visual and audio elements to bring historical events to life. They are also often more concise and easier to follow, making them a great option for people who have limited time or attention span. Who should be responsible for preserving historic buildings? 3. Who should be responsible for preserving historic buildings? The responsibility for preserving historic buildings should lie primarily with the government and local authorities. They have the power and resources to enact laws, regulations, and policies that protect these buildings from neglect, demolition, or inappropriate use. However, I also believe that the public has a role to play in preserving historic buildings. Citizens can raise awareness about the importance of these buildings, volunteer in preservation efforts, or even donate money to organizations that specialize in historic preservation. In addition, private owners of historic buildings should also be responsible for maintaining and restoring their properties, as they are the ones who benefit from their historical and cultural value. Is it hard to protect historical buildings? 4. Is it hard to protect historical buildings? Protecting historical buildings can be a challenging task, as it requires a delicate balance between preserving their cultural value and accommodating modern needs and uses. For example, historic buildings may have outdated infrastructure, limited accessibility, or safety hazards that need to be addressed without compromising their authenticity. Moreover, preserving historic buildings can be expensive. Do you think everyone should learn history? 5. Yes, I strongly believe that everyone should learn history. History provides us with a comprehensive understanding of the past, present, and future, enabling us to make informed decisions, avoid repeating past mistakes, and appreciate the diversity and complexity of human experience. Moreover, studying history fosters critical thinking, empathy, and cultural awareness, skills that are essential for effective communication. Finally, preserving historic buildings can be a contentious issue, as different stakeholders may have conflicting interests or priorities. Nevertheless, I believe that protecting historical buildings is a worthwhile endeavor as it not only safeguards our cultural heritage but also enhances our quality of life and sense of identity. Mm.